okay and now for number five you have uh, like a triangle there okay triangle ABC but you have C as the obtuse angle okay and you have AB is X plus 2 BC is X a AC is X minus 2 so X is what and here we can use the cosine formula so the cosine formula is that you look at the angle and the side in front of this angle so you square that side equals this one x minus 2 squared plus x squared minus 2 times x minus 2 x cosine 120 and now cosine 120 is minus half so we can cancel this and this will become positive right because minus minus so we can open this x squared plus 4 x plus 4 equals x squared minus 4 x plus 4 plus x2 plus x squared minus 2x okay we can cancel this right and then we can cancel the 4 and we can make that 2x squared minus 6x minus 6 sorry it's minus 10 right because minus 4 minus 2 then minus 4 okay so this is 2x x minus 5 so x is either 0 or x is 5 and of course x is 5 because you know it is impossible for the triangle to have the value of 0 or even negative okay so this is for number 5 and now for number 6 you have to make 4 digit numbers made using these digits 0 1 2 3 4 where each digit is different okay so how many 4 digit numbers are there and of course uh, you can use this type of thing you have to make four digits and you know that in the four digit number you can't make zero in front right so in this front you can only have either of this so you have four and now being one number is taken you have another four number times three times two okay so 16 times six four times four times three times two which is 96 number and now how many four digit odd numbers are there now for the odd numbers to happen you can either the, the last digit is one or the last digit is three right and you work with it with the in front again one is already taken and three left so this three and now one number is already taken it's already taken this is taken so this is only three two and now same with this one so it is 9 times 2 which is 18 plus 18 is 36 okay so how many four digit numbers are there the answer is 96 how many four digit odd numbers are there the answer is 36 okay and now for number 7 you just add it up right 1 square plus 2 square plus 3 square plus 4 square plus 5 squared which is 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 plus 25 it is 55 and now the second line it is 36 plus 49 plus 64 plus 81 plus 100 plus 121 plus 144 plus 169 the answer is 764 for number eight it is there's uh, two vectors there right so vector a is minus one two and vector b is one x and it is said that 2, two, two times vector a plus 3 times vector b and then the vector of vector a minus 2 times vector b is both is parallel right and what is the value of x and now let's just calculate the value of this vector so that is 2 times minus 1 2 so this is minus 2 4 plus 3 3 x that is minus 1 and 4 plus 3x right then the second one is minus 1 2 minus 2 and 2x so that is minus 3 2 minus 2x and now for this vector here that will parallel this vector element and this element should be in the same ratio okay so 1 to minus 3 is multiplied by minus 3 okay so 
4 plus 3x to become 2 minus 2x ish is that we have to multiply that with minus 3 so that is equals to 2 minus x right so we can calculate this minus 12 minus 9x equals 2 minus 2x so that is minus 14 equals 7x so x is minus 2 okay so that is for number 8 number 9 it is said that let x let fx equals x squared plus 2x minus 1 and let gx equals uh, x plus 1 and then let's look at number 1 so if fx equals gx so x is what and or or x is what so that is x squared plus 2x minus 1 equals x plus 1 so if we move that around so that is uh, x squared uh, plus x minus 2 and you, we can factorize this right so x is 1 or x is minus 2 okay and now for the second part uh, the coordinate of the vertex point of the parabola of y equals fx so to find the vertex point vertex point means it's the maximum point or the minimum point of the graph so if we have this kind of graph this is the vertex point and to find that we can actually use the formula of minus b over 2a okay and you can actually find the value of this and you substitute in to change the x so that is minus b over 2a it is minus 2 over 2 times 1 which is minus 1 right and you substitute minus 1 to this y so this y equals minus 1 squared plus 2 times minus 1 minus 1 which is 1 minus 1 minus 2 the answer is minus 2 right so the coordinate of the vertex is minus 1 point minus 2 okay so that is the second part and now for the third part the equation of the tangent to the parabola y equals fx at the point 0 point f0 is what so basically we have the curve of fx okay so let's say this is the point 0 point f0 just find the equation of this tangent line okay the way to do that is we have to find the gradient so y equals x squared plus 2x minus 1 this we differentiated 2x plus 2 so the gradient is 2 times 0 plus 2 which is 2 and the point here is 0 point minus 1 so we can find that equation of the line y minus y1 equals m x minus x1 it is y plus 1 equals 2x so that is y equals 2x minus 1 okay and now for number 4 um, part number 4 the area bounded by the parabola y equals fx and y equals gx okay so we have to find the area of the parabola we could actually try to draw the diagram here so y equals uh, x squared plus 2x minus 1 if x is 0 then this is minus 1 if x is 1 then it is 1 plus 2 minus 1 which is 2 and then if x is 2 that is 4 plus 4 minus 1 which is 7 right and then if uh, x is minus 1 that is 1 minus 2 minus 1 which is minus 2 and if x is minus 2 that will be 4 minus 4 minus 4 minus 1 okay so we have this kind of diagram for the uh, graph of fx and for the graph of gx x plus 1 that is uh, 0 minus 1 to 0 uh, minus 2 become minus 1 then 1 become 2 so we have this one okay so this is the area bounded by the parabola and the line so we can use the integral from minus 2 to 1 of x plus 1 minus the fx the reason why i make gx minus fx here 
instead of fx minus gx is just because the placement here that the graph of gx is above the graph of fx okay so we calculate this minus x squared minus x uh, minus x plus 2 that is minus 1 over 3 minus half x squared plus 2x between 1 to minus 2 so that is uh, minus 1 third minus half plus 2 minus okay square plus 2 minus 2 so that is minus 5 over 6 plus 2 6 divided by 3 is 2 minus 16 plus 48 so that is 48 minus uh, 21 which is 27 over 6 is 9 over 2 okay so that is for number 9 and that's it for part 1 of Sensu Math 2016 and thank you for watching <music>